Mm, oh, so good. Oh, I'm just enjoying some honeyed apples, everybody. That's right. No more mutton for me. Today we're gonna work on some things below deck at Skybase, get some more liquid stuff going and start producing chocolate. And then it's back down below to work on building some more land and maybe some more farms and we'll see what we get done. But first, why don't we take a look at what's changed down here below deck. I've done a little uh, decorating. If we come upstairs really quick, you can see this is the old secret room. There wasn't a lot of room in this house, so I had to make do with what we had. And this is what we had coming down here to the first floor. You see, we have some decoration of shovels. We've got a very cool table with stuff all over it. And a, there's my spare elytra that I've been looking for. We also have some modern fishy art. We got water, cause you know, you need water in the kitchen. And we have our trash bin over here. We got some eggs and stuff. Here's our spout, cause we spout things. We got a cool little sifter here for draining water away from all of our food. Oh, we got the radio over here because we like to listen to music sometimes when we're here eating. And overall, I think it's pretty dang cozy. But let's go out here and see what else we got going on. First of all, the bees. Well, I was hitting a point where I was getting max honey, so I added this little side contraption with a full rework of how the back of the system is done. And now whenever the tank is full of honey, honey will make its way over here and be turned into honey blocks. And as you can see, we already have a very good amount. Here's where I get all my delicious honeyed apples. I just put my apple stack down there and it spits out all the honey all over it. And in no time, I've got the best food in the game. The real work has gone in over this side. First of all, I realized I'm gonna be needing blaze cakes, so I put in a little bitty chicken farm. Very simple, I got a bunch of chickens in there and when they lay eggs, it goes straight into this vault. And as you can see, we've got 1400 eggs and I've already used about a thousand eggs making blaze cakes. Over here, you may recognize the milking machine. Well, it's got an addition. It now has a chocolate machine. I believe I am ready to start making chocolate. I've got everything hooked up. Everything seems to be going in the right place. I'm piping in milk from over here. All the ingredients go in here and this blaze burner cooks all the chocolate up and it gets sucked into the tank. I've got a spout here for getting buckets of chocolate if I need to, or I believe I can coat berries with it. So you got chocolate covered sweet berries. And then over here we have the ingredients. We have a mechanical arm that feeds everything into the basin or into the blaze burner if it's fuel. There's a vault behind here that's holding a whole bunch of cocoa beans and sugar. And then up there is the fuel. And when I turn the system on, this mechanical arm will start working away and make sure this thing is full as long as it has material. So everything here seems to be ready. Let's go ahead and turn the system on. We got milk on, we got the arm on. Let's turn the chocolate power on. We got the blaze burner blazing. All the ingredients are prepped. I'm now sending the milk on over. You can see here it comes, there it is. And we should be making chocolate. Yep, the mixer's going to town and it's done. What's going on? Hmm. Well, it's starting to fill up, but really slowly. There seems to be an issue here. So the mechanical arm feeds fuel constantly into the blaze burner, even though it doesn't need fuel. And I looked into that and it doesn't really use up the fuel. So it's not really putting it in there, which is correct, but it's putting it up here. You'll see there's blaze cakes in there and it shouldn't be in there. So what I believe is happening is something to do with the collision. It's hitting the basin first maybe and the basin's just taking it. And that seems to interrupt the cooking progress at times. But overall, it seems to be working. I will have to come up with some sort of a fix though to make sure we're not wasting any blaze cakes because I need those. But we're up to 10 buckets of chocolate already. This is great because I've got a plan for this chocolate. This chocolate's gonna help me build a lot more of my base. Yep, chocolate base on the way. Now Skybase has a lot of power coming in from those four maxed out windmills below that are keeping it afloat. But I have used a lot of that power and there isn't much left. I've got shafts tangled all around underneath the base going every which way. And it's getting to the point where I'm straining to find power where I need it. So I'm gonna need power down below, but I am gonna need a massive power source. For that, I'm thinking steam engines. 
Yep, but the steam engines are gonna need a little bit of a factory to go into. So I'm gonna build a factory building of some sort for the steam engines, which is just a start to a new section I'm planning down there. And I'm gonna extend the ground. You may remember I put limestone down before. Well, it's gonna go even further. I have a lot of plans for what's gonna happen down below and I'm gonna need a lot of space for it. But like I said, first we gotta get power. And to get the power, we need to get the lava. And I've been talking a lot, so I just wanna get to building. Let's go do some building, everybody. <sighs> work is done for now i've got quite a bit done out here and i'm pretty happy with progress in that time lapse you just saw me build some stuff out here but unfortunately it didn't all make the time lapse i also built a big a wonderful lava farm behind the wheat farm over there and it is doing wonders for the future of the base but we're going to get to that in a moment I've also spent a lot of time in between the builds just decorating the area around here and trying to make it feel a little homelier, a little more lived in, worked in, yeah, all of that. So why don't we go around and see what's changed down here on the ground level. We're going to start off over here. You remember our limestone generator? Yeah, well, it wasn't done. It needed a scoria generator, and now we're generating all the scoria we need. That's how I was able to build the powerhouse, was thanks to all this wonderful chocolate scoria. I've moved the windmill over some and given it more power, so now it can handle both sides of the generator, no problem. Back here, I have a little bit of a control area. I can turn off different sections to the power plant as needed. And let's go ahead and turn it on and get this thing working. 
Look at that. Numbers are going to build up really fast. I do have over 70,000 limestone though, so I don't really need to run limestone very much. So this one's going to get shut off. But I only got like 20,000 scoria left, so I'm going to need to generate a bunch of that because we're going to be using a lot of it in the future. Now over here, this is a bit of an A-frame crane thing I came up with. It's over the stone cutters. And you'll see we have zinc over here. This is where we process all of our zinc and you can see there's zinc dust all over from all of the stone being cut up right here. And the main reason I put this here is because whenever I use these blocks, I never use these blocks. I'm always using the stone cutter to transform them into one of their many other shapes like you see here in the floor. Over here I put in a little bit of a dock area where I can sit, hang out, watch the fools over there, do some fishing, enjoy the scenery, or maybe just take a little nap. And then coming over here in between our old farms we see the new lava farm in all its glory. It's got 24 cauldrons brewing up lava at all times. The tank is so empty. Yep. There's nothing in the tank because I am draining the tank as it comes in. It's coming through this hose down below. And if we look, we can see lava down there. So taking a look with FreeCam, we can see what's happening. You remember this massive area I cut with the big tunnel destroyer and the tunnel borer? Well, I walled off a large portion of it and now it is filling with lava. I'm not sure how much is in here yet, but it's probably around 15 to 1700 buckets of lava so far. And once this pool hits 10,000 buckets, it will be considered an infinite lava source and it'll no longer drain lava from the pool when we use it for the rest of our needs around the base. So this system isn't moving very fast. Lava doesn't flow very quickly through its pipes. That's because it's still getting its power from those water wheels down there, which also run the sugar cane in the wheat farm. Most of the time it's not a problem, but when dawn hits and it kicks off, if I don't have the power dialed just right, it overloads the system and messes up a lot of things. So for now, it's a bit slower. But once we get infinite lava and don't need it much anymore, we'll be able to use the steam engines to power it much faster. <laughs> and then let's go up here onto the top platform. There's still a lot of room up here. I got sort of some plans, but this is the powerhouse. I modeled it sort of like an older style warehouse, powerhouse style building while using some of the new bricks. This is Scoria here. This is our chocolate brick we're making. And this is Scorchia. This is the version of Scoria that you find in the nether. And I like it a lot. The more I built with it, the more I just fell in love with this color. I wish Minecraft had a comparable color to this because I would use it all the time. So now we have a building, a wonderful old style warehouse to put our power in. But we haven't done it yet. That'll come soon. We still have a bunch of materials to gather for that. We need more lava. We need a lot of things, but I'm going to put in our steam engines right here in the middle and I'll run power from them to everything else that needs power down here that comes in the future. And even though it's not very decorated in here yet, I do really like the start that we have. It really looks like one of those old warehouses. Skybase has been coming along so nicely. I've been having a great time out here building, but it's been kind of lonely. Dio still has been away on his trip, but he is finally back, and I am excited because we have got some plans coming. We've got to show off our mob farms to each other and see who built the best one, and it's going to be just fun to hang out with him again. I got some plans and some pranks coming. Oh yeah, by the way, I made a tutorial for the limestone generator and how all the limestone generation works and all of that. So if you want to check it out, why don't you check out that video up there for a super helpful little tutorial on the subject. For now, I am off to visit Dio and start planning my first prank on him. So I'll see everybody next time.